Okay, so this is part two over here. I'm going to go with part one and the basics of creating an isometric, technically how to come up with a 30 degree angle, okay? So I'm just going to come in here and have an empty sheet and uh, basically I'll start with a line and I'm going to explain how things work in terms of geometry, okay? So basically if I just drew a horizontal line and a, pers uh, sorry, and a vertical line, then had a square here, everybody knows that this is 90 degrees, okay? And this is zero. So if I make a quarter of an arc, we know that from here to there is a 90. So if I divide this in half, right here diagonally, everybody knows, roughly, guessing, is 45 degrees, okay? So in order to draw isometric, you need 30 degrees. Now how do we do that? How do we create 30 degrees? Well, ge ge geometry suggests that we can divide this into 3, okay? So technically, if I divide it on this side as well, and you'll see a perfect half an arc, right? Something like that. And if this was somewhere here, okay, so I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to divide it into thirds. There's one, and there's one. So really, this is my 30 degrees, okay? This here is my 30 degrees, okay? Now, what's interesting is no one is going to measure and say, oh, you're off. You should have, you have 45 as opposed to 30. It's really hard from the, from the eye, just from the first stance, to understand how that works. Okay, so really what I usually say to everybody is simply just start with a Y, okay, and keep your Y base really wide. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this here, move this over. So basically what we'll do is just make a straight line and then just go out like this, okay? So, t you know, this could be possibly 45 or 30. I don't know right now. But the point is when I'm drawing isometric, I want to see three views, right? So let me just hide this for a second and I'll show you my three views here. Okay, I've got, I've got, let me, uh, here we go. I've got a view here, one, I've got another view here, and I have a top view. So technically, I have three views. One, two, that's the beauty of isometric. I can look at three drawings technically. I could look at this view, that view, and top view, all in one drawing. That's the power of isometric, right? And it's used in architecture, interior design, industrial design. Everyone in the classes, if you're studying this, uh, this the area, uh, the subject area, you will remember isometric and once you learn it you'll never forget it so again I'm doing my cheat method so I can say guys you don't have to be this technical and to figure things out okay so if anybody asks yes it is 30 degrees but when you're drawing ideally what you want to do in my opinion the purpose is simply to see three views okay so there you go the one rule one and, and it's important I don't like using the word uh, rule here but when you are drawing, there's three only three types of lines, okay guys? There's a vertical line, boom, like that. That's it. And ideally keep everything parallel. Okay? If you have a vertical line here, vertical line there, it has to be the same. Alright? And then you have one going this way, which is at 30, and you have one in the opposite direction. Mirror across, there's the direction. So all your drawing must have consistent consistent line work so one two three I'll ghost one two three and I'll just draw one two three so that's it three types of lines so I'm just gonna go over one the vertical there's vertical okay and then we'll go to the left pointing to the left there it is and we got the red already so we're going so this way to the left this way to the right okay so if you remember that we are good. That's the basis, okay? And just for fun, as you guys remember in class, I showed you a couple of tricks here, which you guys loved. And I'm just going to create a cutout by going vertically down. I'm going to copy this angle right here. I'm going to just copy over here. And you're saying at this, I don't know what this is. So I'm going to take the left direction and come in here. I'm going to bring this straight down. And basically, I just created a cutout, okay? So I'll just bring my marker tool maybe, and I'll just draw that here. So this is a surface which is the same direction and angle as this surface. Okay? So when you're looking at that, and let's say this top uh, surface, and I made it, let's say, uh, this color here. And there's the same angle, okay, down here, like that. Okay? So if I just continue this, this plane here is the same plane as that there. And this one here, let's make it another color Oh boy, that's an interesting color, right? I'll bring this in here, like that, and it's exactly this plane over here, okay? So this is a little fast method, okay? I told you guys, we can do some really cool cutouts here. So you can make another one in here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, 
parallel, parallel, parallel. These are parallel to each other. This one is parallel to this side. Okay, so I'm going to continue. I'm going to do an opening in here. One, two, three, copying this angle. And then I'm going to look for this angle. One, two, three, and I'm going to come in here. One, two, three. Okay, so I just made an opening in here. See, that goes in. That's your passageway. This could be a sign for all I care. But, you know, I use this to, to draw products, in my opinion. And I, you know, like if I'm measuring small objects, I'll basically draw an isometric version of that item, and then I'll just measure it and have fun with it. Okay, people. So this one, just to make things right, I'm going to really stop because I like this too much here. So there it is, same surface as that, same direction, same angle. Okay, and then this one here, obviously we have it. Okay, that's it for now. Ballion out, isometric 101.